Hi everyone. Uh, I just got to the garden today, Sunday, so I got to the garden. We're, uh, we're replanting some of the areas. And Tom and Jennifer showed up. We started talking and we were going to an event almost together. They missed the event. It was in Chicago. It was a wonderful program. And they were just sharing with me uh, some of their future gardening thoughts. And it was very interesting, I think. And it was a good perspective on a direction they're taking together, not just in the garden, but in lifestyle. And I'm sure they've had these beliefs for, for a long time. So Tom, Jennifer, you'd like to share with everyone kind of what happened, where you're at, and, sure. and, and see where we go. That's cool. Thanks. Yeah, um, so we're up here looking at plants for our house. We have uh, a very energy efficient and ecologically friendly home, which is something that's important to us. Newly built, right? Newly, newly built, built, yeah, with uh, an architect down in the area mm -hmm. um, who focuses on that sort of thing. And um, part of what we want to do is have a sustainable and, and intelligent approach to how we do our yard as well. I'm not interested in mowing a lawn, mm -hmm. um, and lawns aren't native to Illinois, so mm -hmm. I really want us to have an easy to maintain and um, native landscape to restore what maybe was there historically, yeah. and for it yeah. to look nice too at the same mm -hmm. time. It was nature inspired, You're inspired exactly. by nature, and you put in, yeah. 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 yeah, very good. Yeah, we have a pretty heavily wooded lot. Mm -hmm. Most of it was invasives, but we took all of those out and we're kind of starting with a blank slate with some nice elms and some oaks in the back. And then out front, it's just a more open space. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a glade. Yeah. yeah. How, did you do, how did you define your process? How did you know, okay, we got to get rid of something and replace it with something? How did yeah. you determine what to replace it with? Um, well, we don't really know. Oh, Which good. Is one okay. of the reasons that we're here. That's questions are wonderful. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, um, curiosity so, and question. Yeah, our our architect had referred us to you. That was very nice of him. That's but cool. you were busy. Yeah. And you, uh, the, the event was with one of your proteges. Oh yeah, Nathan. Nathan, Nathan Wright. Nathan Wright. Yeah. 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 So he's we're very working good. with Nathan, and good. he's given us a, a bit of a initial plan. Mm-hmm. Good. And uh, we're at the point now where we're trying to fill in what plants go into that place, mm -hmm. and he gave us a kind of a grand plan, mm -hmm. right? Everything. Um, a, we can't afford everything. Right. And B, even if we could, we wouldn't know how to take care of it. Right. And I want to be able to take care of yeah. the yard. So what we're doing is we're picking sections mm -hmm. and we're going to build out those sections. Good. And we're just following what your book yeah. oh, shows. It's like you. a... I think we Four, talked about that. Ten by fourteen kind of block, right? Chip away at it. Yeah, exactly. A little bit at a time. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think your advice, you know, it helps you to learn about what you're planting and how it works and everything. I think that's going to be very helpful because it's kind of, then it maybe it won't be so overwhelming. Well, when you do it the way you're doing it, mm -hmm. section at a time, mm -hmm. it'll you'll get the plants will understand you and you'll understand the plants, mm -hmm. and then you'll know what kind of stewardship you need and then you can move on to the next one with less surprises mm -hmm. right and more comfort too yeah. yeah yeah and we don't necessarily well first of all we can't afford to have a gardener constantly coming in every couple of weeks right. to take care of our property we're just kind of average people that just want to to do that ourselves enjoy the land ourselves but we're not 22 anymore, mm -hmm. so um, we, uh, you know, the bending and the weaving and constant right. would right. not be enjoyable. So the fact that these plots in here are designed to be um, manageable for for people to to enjoy and take care of um, without breaking their backs, that mm -hmm. that's also very appealing. And I look forward to um, putting some designs in place that we actually will enjoy and take care of. Oh, yeah. That was the thought, was put something in that once it's established, it contributes to its own well-being along with you. Right. So it's not, uh, it's not, it's not yard work. Right. It's mm -hmm. gardening, joyful gardening. gardening. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. That's very exciting. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I, I thank you for sharing that sure. with We're everyone. We're so happy Pleasure. to be here today. And uh, I'm excited you're, excited you're here because I'm excited to hear your story. Yeah. And we're and moving forward too. Right. So it was a good surprise to find you here. Oh, yeah, I, I was I wasn't expecting to see you. Sunday so is my gardening day. I kind of hang out and garden on a Sunday, and I 
kind of wreath. And I always tell people, when you when you've got a lot, everyone who has everyone has a lot going on, the best place to be to be your own best friend is in the garden for a while. You can hang out and the plants aren't stressing you out. They're allowing you to think about things and be more with yourself for a while. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I'm here Sunday. To kind of say, okay, let's calm down here and yeah, get into the next week. Secret's out now though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, thank you very I'm much. Jennifer, this was cool. Thanks everybody. Thank you.